Luther Ellis is a Utah man through and through. The former consensus All-American was one of the best defensive players to ever play at the University of Utah, thanks to a recruiting visit by then head coach Ron McBride. Coach Mack uh, made a lasting impression and he still is very much a part of our lives. His story is pretty amazing. It is amazing. At age 49, Luther is back at the U coaching the defensive tackles, but his story is even more amazing off the field. Luther shares that story of life in the NFL, his large family, and especially his faith. It's all beyond the game. In a small town in southwestern Colorado, at the base of Mesa Verde National Park lived the area's biggest football star, Luther Ellis. Yeah, Colorado was a great place to grow up. Grew up in a small town uh, called Mancus. Grew up in a three bedroom trailer and we had like cousins and people come from Samoa to live with us. So we usually had, I would say, 10, 12, 14 people living in the house at a time. Growing up, you're either a cowboy, uh, you're into sports, you know, uh, a lot of agriculture in our community, or you did both. So I for sure wasn't going to ride a horse or be a part of that, so I'm like, no, I'll stick to my sports and, and be a part of uh, the school. That school was Minkus High, where football was keen. Basically, the town shut down. Everybody came in, everybody joined, it was standing room only, and um, it was something special. Luther was something special on the track and basketball teams, but football was his game, and he played nearly every defensive position. Over 30 years ago, and nearly 400 miles away, the 6'4", 230-pound lineman caught the eye of Utah football coach Ron McBride. Honestly, I think the first time we talked, it was very little about football. And uh, I mean, as soon as he left, that's where my mom, my mom uh, was kind of patriarch of our family. She's like, that's where you're going. So I pretty much didn't have a choice, but no, I, I wanted to go there after meeting and visiting with Coach Mack. He made the biggest change in Utah football in, in, uh, uh, in probably its history because his locker room presence, uh, his on the field presence, and people automatically kind of fell in the line because of who he was. And it was just honestly a privilege to put on that uniform to say I was a Ute. Under Coach Mack, Luther was a three-time all-conference selection. He was the conference defensive player of the year his senior year, as well as a consensus first-team All-American. That led to his first round draft pick by the Detroit Lions in 1995. When I was drafted by Detroit Lions and they're gonna give me a million dollars, I was like, a million dollars? Like, I've never seen a million dollars, and nor did I because taxes, so. But, but it was still just the thought of that. Like, and I'm like, I haven't done anything yet in the NFL. It was overwhelming, very humbling. It was uh, also a big responsibility. From all my fans! Luther was up to the task, becoming a two-time Pro Bowl selection, and at one point, signing a contract close to $12 million. But the riches of the NFL caught up with him, and he lost it all due to what he called poor investments. That was probably the most difficult situation we went through. Um, I think the biggest life lesson there, I mean, I think there's multitudes of them, but I think honestly pride was the biggest downfall there. But the biggest reason I stumbled is my wife and I were in unity. Their financial situation was certainly difficult on Luther and his wife, Rebecca. They went from being humbled at their fortune to humbled at their loss. So they did what they knew best. They turned to God. I would describe myself as a follower of Jesus Christ, identify myself as that. And so being that I am a follower, I need to do as Christ calls us to do, to be a servant, to love other people, and to be grateful. When you talk about that, you can sense it's really deep inside you. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I would say that's, that's who I am. Okay, I'll start. That's my DNA, that's my makeup, that's how I identify myself, and that's what I try to do is just, I just try to love on the guys. Anybody have thoughts on any of those verses? He is first and foremost like a follower of Jesus Christ, and that is who he is in every aspect of his life. So whether that's a husband or a father or a coach, um, I think that shows in how he loves people. 
um, and how he treats people. And what, even if you're a stranger, like he can make a stranger feel so important. And I think it's just who Christ is in him. Rebecca said they completely turned their lives to Christ during Luther's second season in Detroit. Luther not only led Bible study with his teammates, he was also the team chaplain for the Denver Broncos after playing there for one season. It was at twilight in the evening as deep darkness fell. Bible study with their family is always on the schedule, and Luther says his favorite scripture is John chapter 3, verse 16. It's because of what that verse actually says and what it means that God so loved the world, not just the people group, not just this, that he loves the world, that he sent his only son. And uh, through his son, we have an opportunity to eternal life. So it, it's that verse for me personally, it's something that um, I lean on. It's because that's how much God loves us. Uh, and that I, that's how we should love each other. Luther's faith runs so deep, he shared a vision with a pastor from Kensington Community Church in Detroit who followed that vision and opened a church in Salt Lake City called K2. If you do this, you'll live. It's the kind of faith that helped Luther and Rebecca do what they say is their greatest accomplishment, raising 12 children, eight sons and four daughters. Seven of those are adopted. It was partly my faith and partly like what I feel like we were called to do, but then also it was like super like instinctive, that this is right, that this is how our family is supposed to look. Within a year and a half, we went from three to six in diapers. So Costco was our best friend at the time. Okay, whose teams? People always question or wonder, oh, well, can I love an adopted child as much as I love a biological child? The answer is yes. Oh wow, that was bad. They really do have a tight bond. Um, they really get along well together. I would say, especially my boys, would consider each other their best friends. Micah, you're throwing well. I love being a dad. I love uh, serving my children. Wow, Sophia. But my children are amazing, amazing people who give me grace, who forgive me, who love me even with my faults. And uh, I'm hoping that's something that we teach them and, and help them to continue to grow and become better people. Even great football players following in their father's defensive footsteps. Their three oldest boys are currently in the NFL. Caden is with the Saints and Christian and Noah are with the Eagles. Jonah is a sophomore defensive end with Utah. After five years at the University of Idaho, Luther is thrilled to be back on Utah's sideline, back coaching on defense, and back to where he changed the team's history forever. It was a great hire for the University of Utah just because his presence alone and, and when he talks, people listen, and uh, he's earned that respect. I just look at coaching as a great opportunity to pour into a, a young man's life, to help continue his journey that his parents have already started to instill in him of what it means to become a man, what it means to become a, a contributor to our society, what it means to do the right things even when it's hard. Luther's been through the hard and he shares his struggles and successes whenever he can with his players. The former small town football star will always be a Utah man, but more importantly, he says, the grandfather of three will always be a man of God. If your name comes up in conversation, what do you hope they say about you? I'm hoping that they see me more than a football player. But hopefully they see my heart and see that, you know what, he was a really good person, he was a servant. He's a great man. Like, what a kind, humble person he is, um, is what I think people would say. He took the time for me. He, he helped me. That would be the greatest thing that anybody could say is like, man, he had a huge impact on my life. And, and it was more than football. Kathy Aiken for KSL.com.